Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new budget category phone to show you all and this one is from Nokia. So Nokia has just launched their brand new budget category phone, the Nokia 2.4 in the Indian market today guys and it's an Android One phone that offers some decent specs for the price. So where exactly does this phone stand in today's smartphone market in India? Well, we'll be checking that out in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you go guys, Nokia's brand new phone, the Nokia 2.4. It came in this sort of box packaging, has a Nokia branding everywhere, a picture of the product on the front, and as mentioned before, this is an Android One phone. So the brand says that you'll surely get two years of Android updates, including monthly security updates. Going to the back side, it says the phone is Android 11 ready, so you'll be getting an update to that very soon. Keeping that aside, the phone comes with 6.5 inch HD plus display, a 13 megapixel dual camera setup, 4500 mAh big battery, has fingerprint sensor and a dedicated Google Assistant button as well. So those were some of its highlights. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut the seal on the box. There you go, the outer cover slides out like this and at the top you got our brand new phone, the Nokia 2.4. It's available in three different colors. The one we have right now is called as the Fjord variant, which kinda looks like ocean blue. Along with that, you get a 5 volt 1 amp charger, a regular micro USB type B cable. Wait, do these still exist in 2020? Some paperwork and you also get a free case in the box. It's a transparent silicone case and the quality looks pretty good. Lastly, there's a SIM ejection tool over here. And that's it, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let's check out the phone. Here you go, Nokia 2.4 in action. Hmm, looks nice from my first glance. I like the color of the phone, transitions from sky blue to deep blue and is a decent sized phone and gives you that nice feel when you hold it. So let me give you all a physical overview and show you what's present on the phone. You've got the Nokia branding on the bottom and talking about the display, there's a 6.5 inch HD plus IPS LCD display with a teardrop like selfie notch at the top. And talking about the notch, it's got a 5 megapixel f2.4 selfie camera with an earpiece above that. That's it, there is nothing else on the front and going to the right, there's a power button here and a volume rocker above that. The quality of the buttons feel pretty good. At the top, there's a secondary noise cancelling microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the left side of the phone, there's a dedicated Google Assistant button and a traditional type SIM tray which supports dual nano SIMs and a microSD card slot. Now going over to the bottom, there's a primary microphone, a micro USB type B port and a single down firing speaker. That's it and this is how the back of the phone looks like. It does look pretty nice with the subtle nano textured 3D finish and I can say the build quality of the phone is pretty good. The back panel is made of a polycarbonate material but the side frame of the phone is made of die cast metal. You've got the Nokia branding over here at the center and if you can observe, it says the phone is made in India. Above the logo, there's a fingerprint reader and the dual camera setup at the top. It's got a 13 megapixel f2.2 primary camera, a 2 megapixel camera for depth sensing and there's also a tiny LED flash as well. I forgot to mention the phone comes with a 4500 mAh battery. Well guys, that was our complete overview on the design and the build quality. What I'll do is I'll quickly set it up and be right back to continue the video. Alright guys, so I'm back to continue the video. I've already set up the Nokia 2.4 and it's all good to go. So first I have to tell you guys, the phone looks quite beautiful. We've already discussed about the design and the build quality, right? So let's just quickly put the fingerprint reader on it to a test and check out how quickly it unlocks the phone. Okay. Pretty quick for a budget phone and unlocks the phone almost every time guys. So fingerprint reader was doing a good job and there you go. This is how the home screen on the Nokia 2.4 looks like. It's an Android One certified phone, right? So you'll get like a complete stock Android experience only with no bloatware or unnecessary apps installed on the phone. As you can see, it's a complete clean phone with just the Google apps installed on it. And these are all the extra apps that I installed for my testing. Let me just quickly open up the settings and show you the about phone section and also the software info. As you can see, the phone comes with Android version 10 out of the box, but the brand promises that you'll be getting the Android version 11 very soon. Uh, not sure when exactly, but that's it. They've told about the updates. And checking out the storage section, see guys, this is a 64 GB variant, right? So out of the box, you get around like 47 or 48 GB of usable space. I've already installed a couple of apps and games, so 
uh, we've used up around like 18 GB of space on the phone. And talking about the RAM, this is the 3 GB variant. So that's it, there is nothing to check out in the settings area. What I'll do is I'll quickly play some video on YouTube and then show you the display quality guys. So you'll get a better idea on the uh, panel quality as well as the sound. This was the most demanded video by you guys on the channel to build a very affordable budget PC of around 10 to 12,000 rupees and that is what I'll be doing exactly in this video. Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be quite... Okay, from my initial impressions, the display of the phone looks pretty decent. See, it's got a 6.5 inch HD plus display and has an IPS LCD panel, right? So only thing is, it only has a 720p display, guys. I don't know why the brand only gave 720p display. I wish they would have gone with a full HD plus display. And also, if you talk about the colors, the colors were fine because, you know, it's got an IPS panel, right? So I've got no complaints over here. And the viewing angles were also pretty good. See, this is just again like a first impressions and first look at the phone, right? I'll be still using this phone for a couple of days and then I'll give my in-depth review about the phone where we'll be talking about the display quality, audio quality, gaming performance and all that at a later part. And coming to the audio also, it only has a single down firing speaker and the audio quality was pretty decent. The audio felt clean with minimum distortion even at max volume. So that was about the display and the audio part. Now let me tell you about the performance and the CPU section. See the Nokia 2.4 comes with uh, MediaTek's Helio P22 CPU which is an octa-core CPU and to be honest I'm not a big fan of this CPU I don't know why the brand you know went with this CPU I wish they would have gone with something better because see especially there's a huge competition in the smartphone industry right now and I felt the brand should have went with something better in the CPU category anyways if you talk about the day-to-day -day usage see I've been using it so far right I didn't face any sorts of lags or stutters you know while opening and closing of the apps that was pretty fine but we'll have to check for the gaming performance guys that is what I'm concerned about see we'll be talking about the gaming and all that in my full review video keeping that aside let me just open the camera app and quickly take some photos and check out the quality it's got a 13 megapixel camera and oh that is fast okay this is how the photos look like Initial impressions, photo quality looks decent. See again, this is also something I'll have to collect some samples, shoot some videos. It can shoot videos in 1080p resolution guys, that is a max resolution supported on this phone. So yeah, I'll be collecting some samples of these also. And then we'll be talking about the camera quality, camera review as well in my other video. See, I'll be using this phone for a couple of days, guys. You know, I'll be testing it in different scenarios. Like in the full review video, we'll be talking about the display quality. We'll be talking about the performance of the CPU, you know, gaming section, all day-to-day -day tasks and stuff. And lastly, we'll talk about the camera quality and also the battery life. So for that, you'll have to stay tuned. So that is pretty much it guys, that was like my unboxing and first look at the Nokia 2.4. If you ask about the pricing, see I'm not sure about the exact pricing details also because while shooting this video, this phone was under embargo so I'm not uh, pretty sure about the pricing. I'm assuming this phone will cost somewhere around like maybe 9000 rupees. Uh, once I get the pricing details, I'll definitely share that with you in the comment section down below. So that is pretty much it guys. What do you think about the phone? Do let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you all enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.